what's up everybody this is your nutritionist from the go Kamal Deep Singh Ojala from Eater Diet Nutrition and now we are going to discuss about vegetables and diabetes now when I talk about vegetables my number one priority is that we think on the same level you and I we need to think on the same level until unless we are understanding each other we cannot proceed with this topic now what I, I need from you guys is do not consider potato okay as a vegetable it is not a vegetable even in our line even in the line of nutrition potato is always considered as a cereal because it is made up of starches those starches get readily converted uh, into glucose and that glucose spikes up your blood glucose levels so when I say vegetables I am not talking about potato I am not talking about a yam or I am not talking about Arbi. okay now these are the things that we are going to completely avoid from our diet coming back on vegetables now what are vegetables green leafy vegetables cruciferous vegetables and a rest of the seasonal vegetables that we have so we can consume all those vegetables Karela bitter ground that is the best vegetable that you can have if you are a diabetic person because it improves your insulin sensitivity your body your, your body that is irresistant okay that is opposing the available insulin that you have uh, you, the eating karela eating bitter ground is going to improve your sensitivity you are going to need less medicine okay so I suggest you should eat karela little amount of uh, karela or bitter grout almost every day it's not only good for your blood sugars but it's great for your liver because your liver is being drastically uh, affected if you are a diabetic patient okay it's going to help you help your liver recover from the damage that is uh, being done by all the sugars and excess simple carbohydrates and the glucose spikes okay so next come up vegetables like uh, cauliflower okay vegetables like uh, spinach vegetables like uh, uh, sag so all these vegetables are good for you they are not going to disrupt uh, your sugar levels now uh, most of the people while making sag they add a lot of corn flour into that that needs to be stopped you cannot compromise your health for your taste okay so stop doing that you can eat the vegetables uh, all on your own uh, cauliflower then we have um, uh, radishes then we have onions tom tomatoes cucumbers in form of salads these all are good for you you know what the another great uh, great vegetable that you can eat if you are a diabetic that is cabbage now when I say cabbage so many people get scared oh my god seriously are you are you are you saying that we should eat cabbage because cabbage has that worm that goes into your brain makes you mad and then kills you excuse me stop believing in fake news that are spread on the internet that is no such insect okay that is go that will go into your brain all the videos that you will find about that cabbage worm on the internet on the YouTube are fake okay it has been cleared it has been cleared so many years ago but we still believe in that popular myth okay now especially Punjabis 95% of the people for whom I recommend cabbage they will start with their defensive approach no we don't use cabbage at our homes we don't bring cabbage at our homes cabbage might have that worm our children could die we could die we people eat a whole lot of cabbage throughout the year when we eat fast food when we eat Chinese food when we dine out with our family okay and especially when we go to any parties any kitty parties marriage functions or reception parties anywhere anywhere where there is a catering service okay every catering service almost every restaurant uses cabbage in their dishes and we eat a whole lot of cabbage outside of our home and if I say bring cabbage at your home and prepare it nicely all of a sudden people get scared from the name of cabbage I eat cabbage my family eats cabbage I eat cabbage almost every day okay there is no such thing as cabbage worms okay so coming up next whatever seasonal vegetables that you have let it be bottle gourd let it be rich gourd what all seasonal vegetables you have you can have them just be a little careful when you are going to consume okra ladyfinger or when you are going to consume brinjal prepare these vegetables but consume them in a smaller amount 
okay cap the intake don't go over a board with this intake all the rest of the vegetables they are just fine for you okay the vegetables that all i mentioned they are packed hugely with fiber with vitamins with minerals all the nutrients okay so eat more salads that's the key okay if you are diabetic that's the key eat more salad and do not eat salad when the season is changing when the weather is changing okay try to avoid if, if if we have a rainy season try not to eat salad try not to eat raw vegetables okay go for the cooked ones boiled ones or the steamed ones go for a go for a vegetable soup or you can even juice vegetables that vegetable juice is excellent for you we will do a different video on vegetable juicing it is a great great thing and uh, a great great form of giving a booster dose to your body if you're a diabetic okay in the last i want to discuss about two such vegetables that will work wonders for your body that are very important for your body but you need to be a little precautious with them that is beetroot and carrot now why is that because both beetroot and carrot they have a small amount of sugar in them okay now that is 2 grams or 2.5 grams of sugar per 100 grams of vegetable okay so for a normal pers person it doesn't make a difference but for diabetic people if you are going to consume carrots or beetroots do it in a smaller amount okay and never ever juice your carrots or beetroots okay eat them as whole in a cooked form or in a form of a salad they are never going to harm your blood glucose levels we need to stay away from potato okay now some people might say leach the potato okay all right i can recommend you leaching the potatoes but what difference it is uh, does it make you have a whole spectrum of vegetables that you can eat why are you so much attached to potato stop your potato addiction okay and start switching to other vegetables try get some mushrooms try get some broccoli uh, every now and then eat more vegetables in fact i give you a target every diabetic patient should eat at least six bowls of vegetable every day okay that will raise your potassium levels as well and if your potassium levels are good your body will have a better insulin sensitivity okay so that's up for now do eat a lot of vegetables do eat a lot of salads go for vegetable soups or vegetable juices uh, just stay away from vegetables such as uh, potato yam and uh, arbi so that's it for now and we'll see you guys in the next video you take care of yourself and if you have any questions regarding these vegetables you can post me you can dm me on my facebook instagram or you can uh, comment it on the on my youtube video if you're not following me on instagram facebook or youtube do it soon i am giving you a whole lot of information that you don't want to miss Okay, so you guys take care of yourself, eat a whole lot of vegetables, especially the cabbage, okay, the cauliflowers and the cabbages and the bitter gourds. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.